What is going on, obscure mic people? It's me, it's Bark, I'm back, and as you can see, I've got a microphone in front of me. It's a nice looking microphone, but what is this microphone? If you are a member, click the join button right beside the subscribe button on the obscure mic page, then you already got a little taste of this microphone in audio form. Get, I like to get my feedback that way now, so memberships, they're out there. You can join. Descriptions are there. Going to do some live streams. Yada, yada, yada. You don't want to hear about that. You came for a microphone. Thanks to those that have joined already. So I've got the Audio-Technica AE2500 in the studio. This is, uh, this is the kind of microphone I like to have on this channel because this is marketed and listed as a bass drum microphone. Now, if you know anything about bass drum microphones the re320 is a bass drum microphone uh the re20 has technically been used as a bass drum microphone da, 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 da. i don't care what description there is for a microphone there's a possibility it's going to be good on voice there just is so there's a possibility it's going to be the perfect podcast mic for you or the perfect voiceover mic or the perfect gaming mic or the perfect mic that you just want to drop Speaking of which, PV, PVM44, I think it was, that I had a recent video on a podcast. I said something kind of ridiculous, and I dropped the mic. Broke it. Broke it. Fixable. Just got to resolder the wires. The wires came off when I did that. Way to go. Dumbass move. Don't drop the mic. Don't pull the Obama and be like, mm, well, uh, I'm going to drop the mic. I'm going to drop it, and it's probably going to break, and I'm going to drop it. Don't do that. So anyways... Let's take a look at the AE2500 real quick. All right, let's take a look at this microphone. You're also going to get a little bit of a look at the uh, the studio, so to speak, a weird angle of it. But we've got the Audio-Technica AE2500 here in the studio. It is kind of a, in, it's an end address microphone, of course, for a bass drum. That makes a lot of sense. It has a cable here. Let's show you. This is not your typical connection. You've got the, uh, how many pins is that? Five pin connection to run into, to run into a red and blue cable labeled dynamic and condenser. That way you know to feed phantom power into that blue cable there. The red, you don't want to feed phantom power in. That was actually one of my questions when I got this microphone in. I had to consult the manual and see, you know, do, does uh, phantom power, does it have a way to phase phantom power out of both channels? So there's a, there's a little trick here. You can't use a mixer interface that provides phantom power to both XLR ports unless you want to hook the dynamic up to a cloud lifter, fet head, you know, Clark Technic, whatever the freaking thing that was that I reviewed a while back. You're going to want an inline preamp if you have a mixer or interface that provides phantom power to both channels without the ability to select either or. Comes with a nice uh, mount there, hard mount, the AT8471 hard mount from Audio Technica. They call this the Artist Elite Series. And then you've got a couple of filters here. You've got a 10 decibel pad and a bass roll off switch that you have to use a pin to use build quality is excellent on this thing metal mesh grill nice and toy like a toy guy and it's it's just really well built so the cable proprietary cable if yours goes bad i don't know how much this is going to cost you to replace but hopefully that's not the case and doesn't happen and i got the top off so we've got a head basket with some foam in there nice foam oh it's wonderful and check that out that is one fancy looking freaking microphone. Let me tell you what now. Got a dynamic capsule and a condenser capsule. And that is just kind of crazy. Got some metal. Whoa. It's like the Terminator microphone. That's pretty cool. I, 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 I got to say, that's pretty cool. The build quality is excellent top to bottom. No wonder this thing's expensive. Now that we got that out of the way, 
let's go ahead and start running it through the riggers. I'm not going to mess with the 10 decibel pad. Uh, it's going to take 10 decibels off the volume. I am going to mess with the uh, roll-off switch, but first off, what do we do? We throw some, some air and spit into it. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled pineapple pizza. People prefer pineapple pizza because it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Did the Noid or the Little Caesar guy ever come up with that? <laughs> Probably not. Fantastic. Pickled. Not pickled. <laughs> People prefer pineapple pizza because it's fantastic. Fucking genius. I am a genius. My God. When you get right on top of the AE2500, this is what it sounds like when you're right on top of the AE2500. Now, for the sake of knowing, I'm hitting the exact same level on both capsules inside this microphone. I am hitting right at about 12, negative 12 decibels. So I've got them pretty much matched right now, but you can phase out the condenser or the dynamic part. And I will say, I think the, the dynamic part is more vital to the sound of this microphone. I'm going to go ahead and turn the condenser down a good bit. All right, the condenser is down a good bit, and this is mostly the dynamic. Well, it's almost all dynamic here. I'm going to go ahead and slowly raise the level of the condenser part of the microphone. I'm raising it, and I'm raising it. I'm going to get back to that 12 decibel, negative 12 decibel mark there, and I'm there. So now I'm hitting the same levels on them pretty much again. Now I'm going to take the dynamic part of the capsule down just so you can hear uh, you know, you, you can run just dynamic or you can run just condenser on this, or you can combine them and it's kind of a cool concept. So I'm going to take the dynamic and I'm going to drop it down. I dropped the dynamic all the way down. Now you're hearing just the condenser part of the microphone. And I don't, I don't like that. I like the dynamic more than I like just the condenser, but I think when you add them both in like so, I think it sounds a lot better with both of those capsules running. So let's go ahead and do some off-axis rejection. Let's turn this microphone 90 degrees so you can get the off-axis rejection on it. 180 degrees is picking up that sound. That mount's not very good at rejecting the noise of the stand. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way back around to the front of the microphone. I'm going to tap on the microphone a little bit. It's pretty solid, so it's going to make some noise, but nothing crazy in my opinion. Let's go ahead and do this filter real quick before we put processing on it. All right, now I've got the bass roll-off switch enabled, and there you go. So bass roll-off switch, this is what it sounds like, a little more straightforward and clear without the bass. And let's go ahead and throw processing on it in this mode. And then I'll turn it back to flat mode. That makes more sense. So I'm going to turn processing on both capsules. I'm not going to do individual capsule tests. And now I've got processing on both capsules that are inside this microphone. And this is what it sounds like in the roll-off mode. So I have a de-esser compression, big bottom on the Rodecaster Pro. This is what it sounds like with the processing enabled. Again, we do have the bass roll-off switch enabled. We're gonna go ahead and go back into flat mode right now. All right, now we are back in flat mode and this is what the microphone sounds like with the processing on in flat mode. And listen, here's the thing. It's listed as a bass drum microphone, but guess what? I think it sounds pretty good on my voice. I think it sounds pretty good on my voice. Would I pay the 500 plus dollars? Uh, for it to sound like this on my voice. I don't think so, uh, but I got this for like 195 195 Hard to find it at that price for sure. I got lucky. It was an eBay auction. I bid on it. I won it. I feel like there's a little bit of crispness coming in there. I don't know. There's a little, there's this frequency up top that's got a lot more sizzle than I'm used to. And it's certain, certain things I say, I hear it and I can pick it out. And it's a little harsh up top when that happens. So either way, uh, it does have a good sound overall, but there is there is some characteristics at the very top of the frequency chart that are just not, I'm not feeling them. 
It's just a little much. Who's this microphone for? Uh, I think it can be used for just about anything, to be honest with you. It's not just a bass drum mic. I think it's a good sounding mic. You can switch back and forth, use the dynamic capsule only or the condenser capsule only, or maybe you mix and match the levels to get the exact sound that you're looking for. I figured the easiest thing to do on this would just run them at the same level so you get that condenser and dynamic punch. But yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't pay the price for this for voice, even though I think it sounds good enough. That's a lot of money, and there's a lot of solid microphones for just podcasting, gaming, all that. But hey, I don't play the drums, but maybe this is absolute magic on a drum set. Who knows? I don't know. I'll get a drum set in here eventually, because I've got a lifelong dream of banging on shit other than... That's what she said. I I'd like to play the drums eventually. So, the AE2500, I don't think anyone's ever tested this on voice, at least not on YouTube, so I thought... Why not? It's an obscure vocal mic for that reason. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Very eager to hear it. Let's go ahead and turn processing off so you have the regular sound of this again. All right, now we're back to no processing on this microphone. And I think it sounds pretty fine with and without that processing, but the processing definitely gives it a fuller, nicer sound. But that crispiness is real real harsh up top at one of those frequencies there with the processing on so i don't know you can't go wrong just using it. if you can get it cheap it's a fun microphone i bet you can make it sound exactly how you want it but it's a little pricey for me so for that reason sometimes i forget to do this it's crazy but i'm gonna give this ae 2500 from audio technica technica Technically, clear, 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 click, 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 click. Sorry. Yellow light. Yellow light audio technica for voice. I think it's it's a solid microphone. It's gonna it's gonna work on voice. It's just fucking expensive. It's just fucking expensive. Sorry for my language. I cuss. Sorry. I don't hey. Hey, I'm going to lose some subscribers here, but has anyone ever seen in that book they call the B-I-B-L-E where it says, thou shalt not say fuck? Never seen it. Never seen that in there. So I say it. I don't drop the GD much. I try not to because it, it, that's one of those ones that I do feel like a little pain. Like, oh, I should have said that. Fuck. That's just slang. The F word's just slang. It's just slang, folks. It's sentence enhancers. Even Patrick Starr knows that. Come on. Anyways, let me know what you thought about this microphone in the comments down below. I think it's kind of cool myself. If it's great on bass drum and you can use it on voice and you could probably get some good acoustic guitar sound if I'm guessing out of this, it, it, it might be a banger. It might be just what you need in your studio. A2500 is out. Bark is out. Thanks for watching yet again. Join that membership if you like the channel because it will give you some perks. I'm throwing a lot out there on it. Just anything I want to test and mess around with, I'm going to throw it on that membership platform for people to listen or watch. Why not? You know, people are paying good money for good service. I'm going to try to give you some good service. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.